Ethos turn. Okay, so it's it? yeah, yeah, this is turn. So it's Etho and S Poppy. Round one. So it's like we have little tournaments, but you know they're they're kind of stacked. Nah. <laughs> oh, good read How by Etho he... there. Oh yeah. I don't know what. Does, does Ganondorf have like chain grabs and stuff on characters? Um, I know. He does, yeah, I know he, he has one on Sheik. He he does have chain grabs. I'm not. I'm pretty sure he has on Spacey. I think. Ooh, that was a really good down tilt. I love when people use his down tilt. It's so good. Yeah, it's very get, under you. Yeah, like I get super upset. Like they don't use his down tilt enough, and they don't use his forward tilt enough. Yeah, Both of forward which I think are like amazing. Uh huh. Ooh. At high, at high percent, like what Gan is at right yeah. now, forward tilt is super good because it just like it gives you that space. Yeah. It's just kind of like okay, get off, boom, get off, boom, get off. It's like you, you decide when you want to be like in their face and stuff, and or when you just want to blast. It's extremely more. hard to punish as well. <laughs> it's super fast. That's why everyone should, you know, be using spaces. No. I'm not sure if, if David's been using Etho, if he's been using more Ganon than anyone else now in melee, or if yeah. he's, he has. Yeah. Because I know that for a while he was like, he wanted to use Ganon, but he felt weird about him, so he was using like Marth. And he still feels yeah. weird about him, but he still thinks he does best with his, you know, with his main. Mm -hmm. Position. Oh, that was really nice. That was like a really like cute, soft hit. Because like, it was just like barely. Like he used his back on him. Oh, oh that fair. <laughs> he got hit by the fair. He wasn't able to go back far enough. Oh, that was, that was a, yeah. He should have seen that one coming though. Mm -hmm. Like he really didn't have any other landing option other than like maybe mm -hmm. an air or something. That's something that, that I noticed pretty hard against David. It's like, whenever given the option to be aggressive, he takes that option. Like, yeah. he likes hitting. Him. I mean, he has to. He's mm -hmm. Ganon. <laughs> because, I mean, like, there's still, like, other options. Ooh, that was like, a can, great mm -hmm. um, ledge dash to F tilt. Crossed Ooh. him up and then got, like, reverse yeah. the situation. And he was able to take the stock off of it, too. That's what happens when you're Falco. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh oh. So oh, that's that what bad. that's what Ethan needs to be looking out for, just quick gimps. Mm -hmm. Because you know Falco just shuts him down with that laser in his neutral game. Yeah. It feels like it's probably isn't shooting enough lasers. Maybe it's because of the stage and the fact that you know Ganon can kinda like get in your face since it's not that big of a stage. Nice coverage. Mm -hmm. Oh he read Oh no, just He's trying to oh. read the roll with that down. Ah oh. uh, wow. I saw me pretending he's upset by it. <laughs> <laughs> so, unfortunately, it's SD. Yeah, an, an SD. Um, and it goes to Spoppy. Yeah, Spoppy takes that one win. And Spoppy, whoever wins this one is going to be going like, go on to fight Bolt. That's going to be hype. So, did you see anything like that should have been changed? Anything that should have been changed? Habits like, and stuff? The like, way they're playing? Something they should have utilized? Counterpicks? Just add um, Pokemon Stadium, one band. You strike one stage, and then he picks one. Yeah. Yeah. Pokemon Stadium, six. Oh, you're not listening. Oh, and Corneer. Corny. Corny. Corny ear. Yeah. Anyways. Um, I think... I feel like I feel like Fanana could have been playing it a little bit safer. You know, using those lasers. Yeah. I mean, when you're blessed with a projectile that good, I mean, and like you just sit out and like, not necessarily camp, but you know, you know, like let your opponent know over you, yeah. over abuse it mm -hmm. until they find a way to deal with it. Yeah. And it's like, cause yeah, cause it's like, okay, I have this really really good move. Oh, I don't want to use it. And it's like, okay, well, why not? Well, because because then I beat people, and then I'm always winning. <laughs> and it's like, well, then, what's the problem? Well, but, but there is no problem. You shouldn't you should be winning. It doesn't even matter, though. He yeah. freaking switched to Yoshi. Mm -hmm. So this I matchup... A, I think that was a really big mistake. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> to I be honest, see, yeah. Like, David loves this matchup. Because it's like, you get aggressive, and then you're like, ooh, this is a jump. It's, it's forward. It's like, oh, I'm just going to keep hitting him, keep hitting him. And you have to just juggle them off stage. Like, it's it's not super hard. Yeah, and Yoshi doesn't really have an approach other than, you know, like, mm -hmm. Nair. And yeah. Nair shut down by forwarder from Ganon. Like, fading oh back like that. Like, those fade yeah. back forwarders cover so much of Yoshi's off. Like, so many. Yeah. He does have down some. 
Which is that, that's how he got that, that, uh, that stock. Oh, he can't even shield him either. And when he's stuck there, oh, is that it? forcing no. him to Could shield. Oh, you can't even jump out of shield here. Like, that's, that's scary. That's, this is really rough, I feel, for Yoshi. Yeah, like right now, he's just stuck in shield. Mm -hmm. He doesn't want to be shielding. But it's like, oh, but no. you have to, that's the thing. Cause then I imagine like on like on a super pro scale, like if this was like Amsa versus um, Kage, I would just see Amsa just like you know wrecking Kage for some reason. I feel it. I feel like he would be. But I don't know why. That's because they um, they take note of each other's weaknesses, you know. Mm -hmm. And like Ganon's overwhelming weakness of you know recovering. Yeah. It's so just like capitalized so okay. hard so, on by freaking yeah. Yoshi. So that's something that yeah the Nats probably should be doing because it feels like. I mean, he hasn't been edge guarding that hard, like really. Yeah. Like he's been letting him slide a little. Like right like, here. Right here, it's like. It's bait potentially yeah, a look stock. At that, yeah, that, that should have been a stock. He just went up and he's depend he's he's depending a little bit too much on down smash. Mm -hmm. That's exactly what he should. Right um, here, this one should be stock. Oh, it's but a Randall, you know. Yeah, but he still could have done like a I don't know something like a nair. That was a nice down smash. I, I, I don't mind. Uh, whatever's fine. Good call. Down air, forward air. That, that was a good strike. Okay, yeah. his jump's gone now. That up air takes Ooh, it. That, yeah. yeah, that's taking it. And it's funny because we just saw that exact same thing happen like in the last match where it's like someone's falling and it's kind of just like panicking like crap I need to throw a, I need to throw a hitbox out because I'm falling and I don't have any other options to land yeah. so they're like oh I need to throw it out I need to throw it out and so then, he was like landing with a with a down air and then um, Ito realized like oh okay he's just gonna land and try to hit me all I have to do is just you know move get out of the way and just kill him like that's all you have to do and it's uh yeah, that's easy. That's yeah. like basic stuff where it's like you can really learn. It's pretty easy to punish as long as you see it coming. Yeah, but that's when other things like come into play where it's like you need to like really um, take into consideration like all the other landing options that you have. Like even if it's all, not always like the most optimal or like the best thing to do, it's a bit of a mix up. So it's it's good to you know consider doing certain things. Yeah. Because instead of like landing with down air, like you could have like wave landed onto a platform. Or you could like air dodge somewhere yeah, else. Yeah, air dodge. Like air dodge. I mean, it's not that great in this game, but it's it's still it's really still an helpful. Option. Yeah. yeah. And that's like, like once you condition them to you know mm -hmm. go up there and hit you. Yeah. Like just air dodge through them and get yeah. back on stage back to neutral. Like basically for free. Wow. Ooh, this that is, was great. This has been a lot more dominant. Like that stock was wow. It was bad. But it's still very, very close. As long as it gets the stock off soon. Ooh. <laughs> or they're trying to cover that jump yeah. up. It looks like his edge guarding has not been on on point at all. Uh, that should be. I think you need to be oh, not scared. That was a back here. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. It's like even like a shine back here, like that would have been super smooth, super nice and air. Yeah. But that's still the stock here with the edge guard. Back here. Mm, yeah. Good. Like not much you can do there. Yeah. Especially not at the end. Like now now we should be able to capitalize. Like there's no excuses. Because if he recovers a low with Ganon while Pop's on the edge like mm -hmm. that, Pop's just gonna roll and yeah. he dies. And if he recovers high, he's gonna get back here. So yeah. Much. And here, this is always like that like people complain stuff. that it's awkward, but I always feel like I, don't know, I think it's really oh, cool because no. it's like this is like it's like a test, like it's a test of your of your spirit, of your patience, <laughs> like like it's just it's all power, dude. Like when you see it, and it's it's intense because I see people, and I think it's part of the reason why Armada is like one of the best people in the world. Is like when they're stuck in like positions like that, some people are just like, oh, like they're all lazy and they're just like chill and they don't care. But like, look at people like Armada. Like you look at Armada when stages are like that, he's like dead serious. He's staring at the screen. He's not losing any concentration because he's waiting for like any little like mistake. Yeah, any little mistake, any I, little commitment that you make, exactly. and he's like, you think. You think I'm not doing anything, but I'm gonna go bop you like as soon as you do anything silly. And that's why he's. That reminds me of that one match with Axe where he was like in the mountain stage mm. part. Yeah. And he like he was just walking around with Pikachu, and then he like ledge canceled side B and hit them. Like I forgot who he was playing, but it was hype. Yeah, it's just it's it's an important thing. Like you can't let your guard down. Like once you're 
in the match battle mode and keep that battle mode going. That's something I struggle with a lot, but it's like, ugh. For all no, that was he overcommitted them before. Night, the single hitter Nair is really good. Like, For just, yeah. yeah, just knocks him off lead? his feet and puts him in a bad position. Yeah, Bobby. Falco. Oh, Falco. Yeah, like, well, I'm talking about Yang's Nair, mm -hmm. but puts Falco in a bad position. Oh, I know it, up that wave line. It, it hits too hard to lead into any kind of like grab, right? I think oh, that so, was, yeah. That was a nasty oh. Why are He's you... not respecting that yeah. invincible up there. That was a good nair, though. This is scary. That was good. Yeah. I know that when, when you do um, down smash as Fox and Falco, your legs become invincible. So it's like you're like a floating um, a floating hurt box. <laughs> so that little part where they're like, oh, I'm just going to smack him in the legs or something. It's like, if they do, it doesn't matter because it's invincible. Ooh, that was that not was... a very good recovery, but it worked, it worked out. out. Yeah, I think it, was, like, it wasn't an option. And it wasn't one that David was expecting. <laughs> That's why it worked. Because it's like, even though it was like not a good option, it was like what he wasn't expecting. Yeah. It, it ended up working out. Because he was like, yeah, I mean, he's not going to be dumb and choose that option. It's terrible. And then he does it and it's like, oh no, he's a genius. <laughs> yeah, this is, this looks like, oh man, this is really scary. Yeah, this is game three. Yeah, but this is Hype Master Captain Etho. Oh, yeah. The F smash there to no, seal that last stock. No hype in this match. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. GG's. GG's. Keep in mind, you know, options, use them. That's what defines a good character. A character that has a lot of options. Mix ups. That's, yeah, mix ups and stuff, that's what makes you good. So, if you have mix ups, use them.